Yo, 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 what's up? This is Jeremy from JJ Generation Garage in the Peach, capital of the state, baby. All right, boys and girls, I'm just going to give you a little tech tip. So I just sprayed some bed liner, and you can get bed liner. You can get it from Rapper. You can get it from Quartz. You can get it from Sims. You, there's a lot of different vendors out there, right? So uh, Line-X, um, I've sprayed it all. Line-X, Raptor, Quartz, everything. So I got another video on here. It's way, way down the line. It's probably a couple years old. It's about 14, 15 minutes long. It tells you how to mix it, how to do this. How, so I'm just kind of give you a little bit of little bit of short tech tip. All right, so if you spray in black, it's black, right? But if you want a color match, so if you want a color match, do like a colored bed or parts or fender flares or bumpers or whatever. On the back of the can or the back of the bottle, it says put six ounces of of color into a tenable liter so tenable it comes white right so when you open the lid and you look at it it's white it's tenable right it's tenable right so that means you put your color in it right you have to put color in it with no binder sometimes i've heard people say they put color in it and then it cottages up like cottage cheese or whatever well um when i worked at petty's we did full Jeeps, like color matched them and done a bunch. I mean, a bunch. So sprayed hundreds of gallons of this stuff, right? So found out that if you take and do it like the can, like the can says, you open it up and it says six ounces of color per tenable. So I got a, I got a jug, right? I open it up. It's one liter. I open it up put six ounces of color in it and then I shake it and then once it's shook then I put eight ounces of hardener I shake it again then I go in there and I spray it here's the problem with that it's like I got a black eye don't it I had this mask on and it was pushing up anyway so here's here's the problem so white is a toner right so if I take blue green red brown black whatever Remember your color wheel, and if I add, like, for example, this truck is, is 503 light green, right? If I take six ounces of color, pure green, and pour it into this liter, which is pure white, it's going to dilute my color down, and it's not going to match. Red, it turns red to, like, pink. Just think about your color wheel, boys and girls. So if, if, if you look at your color wheel, if you add white, it's going to make it lighter if you add brown it's, so you see what i'm saying so what i found that works is take the leader shake it don't put nothing in it just shake it get it all shook up right get it all shook up add eight ounces of hardener to it right you can add, there's, there's two ways you can do it. If you're going to seal, you're going to put down sealer, right? Like a primer, like G1, G2, G3, G4, G, a G1 to G7, all right? You can do this, right? I know you can do this with PPG. I don't know any other company that you can do this with, but there's another option. So here's option one. I have my leader, right? I have my leader, okay? I take six, I take six ounces of sealer. So I'm going to do this in G1. So that's D, DOS, DAS, 30, 25. I think that's the number. I put six ounces straight into there. All right. I shake it. All right. Now I got my ground color, my sealer. All right. Because this color down, this color goes over G2. All right. So I put my sealer in the, the Raptor can. I shake it. All right. Then I add the eight ounces of hardener from the Raptor, the activator. I put that in there. I shake it. I go in there and on those wheel tubs, I sanded them down with 80. I cleaned them. I epoxied them. 
Then I sprayed the bed liner over top of it, which is tinted, my sealer. And then I let it flash off for 15, 20 minutes. Then I mix up my 503 green. I mix it one to one. I mix about, I think it was about 10 ounces uh, sprayable. So five ounces of color, five ounces of reducer. That gives you 10 ounces sprayable. I go in there, I put three coats on one wheel well, three coats on the other wheel well. I check it with the sunlight, looks great. So now it's going to be more vibrant because the color is new and the, the, the other bed part is not going to look as vibrant. And this is the reason why. Bed liner does not have UV protection in it. So therefore, it's going to get bleached by the sun. I've seen it happen a thousand times, right? So once that color flashes off, then here's an extra step. I go in there and I mixed up some 2021 clear. I mixed up enough clear, about eight ounces, 10 ounces, uh, well, about eight ounces, sprayable, right? I put three coats on one wheel tub, three coats on the other wheel tub, and I walk out. Now, once all that links up, it's going to have, it's going to be shiny, right? And if you don't want it shiny, you don't have to do it that way. You can use satin clear or whatever but it's wet on wet, so it, that meaning everything is still chemical and mechanical adhesion. So it's great. All right, here's the second thing. If you have, if you have a different company, I don't know, I'll, you have to email Raptor or Quartz or whatever you, and ask them, is it okay to use BSF, uh, Sharon Williams, uh, House of Color, whatever you're using. Make sure you ask before you dump it in there like what I just told you. Here's the second option. You can spray your part in epoxy. Then you can take the tenable sealer, right? Or the tenable bed liner. Don't tint it. Just go out there and spray it pure white. Spray it the way you want it to look. Let that flash off for 15 minutes. Then mix up your sealer. So DOS mix is three to one to one, I believe. Yeah, three to one to one. So I can go in there and mix up my sealer. We'll put two put two coats of sealer over top of it. That gives me my G2 ground coats there. All right, now that's on top of each other, right? So that's wet, 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 wet. Go in there, mix up my color, mix up eight ounces of color, go out there, spray three coats of color on it, let that flash off for 15, 20 minutes, go mix up my clear, go mix my clear up, and do it and be done. That's two ways. Now, if you read the instructions, it says put six ounces of toner, meaning the color, like I could take that green and pour six ounces into that can and shake it. I promise you it's not going to be the same. It ain't going to look right. The, tone, the, the color's not going to look right. I have done so many colors, reds, greens, yellows, blues, metallics, pearls, you name it, I've done it. And that's the way I've done it. I have sprayed hundreds of gallons of bed line. I mean, man, we did... At Petty's, we did like 15 brand new Jeeps. And when I mean brand new Jeeps, like there was one, one Jeep come in. It was a 2018 Jeep. We stripped the whole Jeep down. It drove into the building. We stripped it completely down just to a shell. I got pictures on my Facebook page. Just to a shell. Sanded the whole thing. It was green. Bedline the whole thing in green and then airbrushed. Uh, the MASH logo on the side of it because they put a uh, five, it did, they did a 5.7 Hemi swap with a supercharger. Did several vehicles like that. Pulled the 3.8 V6 out of it and done it. So I know what works for Jay. Might not work for you, but I'm telling you, this is how I do it and this is how it works. So if you got any questions, I appreciate it. Drop it in the comments. Let me know what you think and we'll go from there. Uh, bed liner is not that hard to spray. If you want to have a real coarse texture, then turn down your air pressure. Uh, if you want it to be fine texture, like, like the grit on a, cert, a skate deck, turn up your pressure and step back. Um, you can reduce it, but I don't suggest reducing it. You can reduce it. I know guys that reduce it. Uh, if you're not familiar how that stuff works, I wouldn't reduce it because you're going to make it so pliable that if you put it on too heavy, too thick, too fast, it's going to run off on the table and it's going to look like a melted fruit roll up. So I'm at the nine minute mark. I appreciate you. I hope you made it all the way to the end. Uh, hit me a subscribe button, share, like, uh, drop some comments. Let me know what you think. And I appreciate every one of you. And boys and girls, uh, I got something coming Monday that you Ford guys are going to like.
found the Holy Grail. I didn't find it. A client found it. And it's coming here Monday. And I'm telling you, she is a cream puff. Uh, needs a little something. She's been in a garage, been locked up for 25 years. Uh, I'll tell you this much. It's a 1977 F-150, long bed, baby blue, white, two-tone, 351 Cleveland or Windsor. It's one of them. I can't remember. Automatic, four-wheel drive, leather interior. She's loaded. Uh, it'll be here Monday for some little uh, little updates and stuff. Nothing major. But I appreciate you. So uh, remember I said, boys and girls, don't worry about the man up the road or down the road. Sweep off your own front porch while sweeping off anybody else. Just put God first. Let loose in draft. Peace out and chicken grace. I'm out.